I just want to get your take on some of the action we've seen in the market. We've been highlighting it all morning long. The Dow on a three-day winning streak. The S&P and the Nasdaq falling in three out of the last four days. Now futures solidly in the green. Uh, what do you think about all this action? Yeah, we've definitely seen some volatility in the market over the last couple of weeks, and I don't think that's surprising. Um, we did have an upside surprise to CPI. People are wondering what's going to happen with PPI later this morning. Obviously, we have the Fed meeting next week. Um, and I think there's some questions. You know, the market has built in uh, the expectation that we will have a soft landing, that we're going to have double-digit earnings growth, the Fed's going to cut multiple times this year. So they really need the data to support that. And it's been somewhat mixed. I think we need to be watching probably the labor market reports um, very closely as well to see if there's any kinks in the armor um, there that could tell us things are slowing down. Um, but the market is looking for something in order to continue this bull market. I think lower yields is key for it. Okay. Um, and so upside surprises to inflation doesn't really fit that story. All right. So as this market's looking for a reason to keep this bull market going, give me a sense. How do you see today shaping up? What's your WEX word of the day? So my wax word of the day is momentum. And Frank, I think it's because this has really been a momentum-driven bull market. And you like to see momentum. It's actually been one of the best performing factors um, over the last few weeks, actually for, for this year, year to date. But when you have momentum where it is now, like in the 92nd percentile, and you combine that with sentiment readings that are extremely high, you look at the AAII bull bear spread, um, you look at some of the other sentiment readings, and they're very extreme to the upside. The combination of those two things historically 80% of the time over the next three to six months, you get a pretty significant pushback against momentum. So we think that leads us right into about the middle of the year, maybe late spring, um, where we're going to see the economy really slow down. That should coincide with where the Fed is thinking they're going to start lowering rates. So momentum okay. is something I think we need to watch very closely. So it sounds like you're in the, you're in the June camp. Do you think we're going to get that cut in June? I think we probably will. You're looking at interest rate probabilities right now around right. 63, right. 65 percent for June. Those will probably go up if um, the inflation numbers between now and then uh, moderate and get us closer to a 3 percent or maybe a little under um, on the inflation reading. So we'll see. There's a lot of time between now and then. So, Victoria, you came to us with uh, you know, a cornucopia of picks, different sectors, different things going on. Uh, Gap. Kroger, uh, Apple, that's on your trim side. But on the buy side, Cigna, Deere, and J.P. Morgan. Give, I mean, I don't even know where to lead into this. Why these <laughs> stocks? Why right now? Well, we'll start on the trim side real quick. You look at names like Gap and Kroger that are up 10, 11 percent over the last week. Take a little bit off the table and you can put them in places where there's more opportunity. Cigna is one of our favorite names. We've liked healthcare for a while. Your viewers that watch know that at Crossmark, we really dig in and we want strong balance sheets. That's what you're getting here. Strong. Uh, free cash flow, operating income up 30%, revenues up 12%, you're getting a dividend, and your debt to capital ratio is low. Um, it's down, um, or Cigna is actually up this year, so maybe wait for a little bit of a pullback where it comes down, and it's a good entry point there. Same story with Deer. You're getting stronger balance sheets there, a beat on their earnings of about 20%, and we know the infrastructure bill is coming into play this year and next, so there's some opportunities there.